Well, I ended up getting, I ended up dying. Cellumens, 842, RG. The world once again fell into the spot. Looks like you darlings didn't make it. And so the curtain closes on another spiral. Until the next Tempest. Sleep well. Why is he are here? And we just get game over screen? Seriously? Whatever. Next time we continue on the the actual path and well since I have to do the whole thing over again, I have no idea why there is no save point there. It will be practical. But basically then we we have to lose that. That's all there is to it. So we become all a C and we automatically lose. Even if we get the infinite power. So basically the idea is that we do it as humans. Still the whole path was interesting. I have no idea why you are allowed to go out into the overworld when you can't even do anything there. Perhaps it's there just to... I would think it's there to grind, but I doubt it considering that one doesn't get EXP until we go there. Since it was game over, I assume there was nothing else to... to go through with. So... I guess we can call it an episode. I think there should have been something different than simply such than simply a bad a bad ending and having something really short. But I mean, yeah, because other games where this kind of choices come, basically they make it so that what you do matters. And I'm feeling this one was a bit like the Tales of Cilia choice of who you are playing with. If you haven't played that game, you get to choose the path of the main character Jude Mathis and Mila Maxwell. But at most of the time in the game, about 85%, they are together, so whatever you do really doesn't matter. The only thing that changes is how the game begins. Maybe how the game ends, but otherwise, outside of a there of a relatively small part of the game, not really much is different. And this feels kind of like that. Whatever. This is this. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy Type Zero HD. Next episode, we do the Moral Path. This is Rosan. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.